right? So I am here for your uh, training session, which is scheduled today. So this session is uh, pretty uh, formal and uh, it is a very high level overview of the installation of Hybrid 6. So uh, I would like to clear to uh, everyone what all are the prerequisites right, for uh, this installation. See, we must have. Uh, just let me make a note, which will help uh, for all of you guys. So, what is a prerequisite? First, we need, must have Hybris 6.0 uh, done. You can call setup also. We must have G installed JDK 1.8. Onwards might be 92 and uh, uh, any other release. This is to prerequisite. And third one, which is very specific, uh, everyone knows that, but I am mentioning over here. Configure the system path or R environment variable. Of Java. Perfect. These three are very, very basic requirement for Hyper Six. Nothing else apart from that you required. One more thing which I have, which I need to mention, whenever you are doing any development or any learning training session, cap copy trail, then go with only HSQL. There will is no requirement for any specific uh, database engine required so if you require that if you want to do R&D if your project is required Oracle DB and MySQL then go with that as I would like to prefer go with the HSQL only okay fine so let me start and uh, I'm checking you on my setup which I have already extracted okay so this is my setup in a it is in C drive hybris hyphen trainings which is very imp uh, there is a one of uh, important thing in bit uh, in the beginning which I need to make clear do's or don'ts okay so this is a dome where your hybris application or project should have minimum length of path okay it should not be like C drive under any person's name suppose Deepika Padukin Deepika space Padukin then slash hybris space 6.0 space new or training like that okay it should not be like this only it should be very precise and very small path which is not containing single space inside it okay take care of this thing guys so here is my day one training related which is uh, none other than uh, only about uh, uh, only about the installation so be, you can see that whenever you are taking the dump of a hybrid 6 then it will become like uh, this version which you need to modify only hybrids that will be far better for us uh, if you want to make it then hybrid 6 that's it okay don't think to make any other change like ABCD my name and it should not be like this guys this is simply development environment which is required one JDK. I repeat once again. The prerequisite is none other than things. Only hybrid 6 dump or setup JDK 1.8. You can go with the JDK 7 as well. But I would like to recommend to go with the JDK 1.8. And your JDK path, sorry, uh, your JRE should be configured in your environment variable. These are three prerequisite and first which is very taking care of things 
whenever you are putting your project or application or training session or any copy training don't go with the larger path it should be a minimum length of path it should not contain any space i'll just explicitly mention that it should not contain any white space So now I'm just taking you back on my hybrid six project. This hybrid six, this is a hybrid. So once you extract it, you can see that build tools, C four C integration. This is not required, not in focus in as of now. Hybrid, which is most important directory for us. We take care and always deep diving in that. Hybrid EMS is not required as of now. Mobile apps and SDK is not required as of now. Hybris SBG installer might be required, but we usually go with our uh, command prompt. But you can go through the installer as well. This is the basic license of our Hybris, so don't go into the this set because Hybris developer certificate developer license has by default 30 days limit. A single instance can be extended, but if you have the multiple instance in your machine. Then it will generate the conflict. You will never ever be extend your license. Take care. And important note. So inside the hybrid, we have a bin package. Okay. And inside the bin, we have lots of folder, which is starting with the extension. Ext is nothing. It is denoting extension. So all extensions are mentioned over here. Among these, there is a one. Old and started name is platform. So this is a not, nothing. This is a very most important directory, which is performing a very vital role and very important role in entire hybrids. Whatever the all of the things are out of the box is available in the hybrids. You can see inside the platform. Okay. So beside uh, apart from these things like any build, any configuration, Tomcat, your solar, everything will. Be configured into the platform. Okay, so once you are reach over here, press Alt D. If you are not familiar with this command, nothing. I'll take you on through the command from right here the CMD. So you can see the screen which is a uh, coming on your screen. This is nothing. This is a command from a screen which is taking up to you platform path. Here you need to uh, write down one command. This is send and environment dot batch batch is nothing but batch file tap it okay and you will get to know that apache ant version 1.9.0 sorry one compiled on the 15th may 2013 it is showing our version of the ant and it is auto set configured in your application under the platform okay so now your application is ant enabled and it is started now so the next command which is required in the first session first initiation you need to execute and clean first okay you, you guys must be aware hope few people are new no wise beginners precious so you need to go through the some of the ant there's nothing another need to provided by apache for the automatic build system okay so once you execute the ant clean in your press setup, then it will ask press and tell use the default values, develop and production. Okay. So if you are going through the production, it will ask you the license. If you don't have license, it will automatically take 30 days trial back to consider be as a developer. As by default, it is going with the develop, press enter. So now hybrid six develop version is going to be configured in your machine okay so you can see that it is copying 27 files from this hybrid and couple of things over here build successfully must be come at the end of execution take care okay so this is a thing which you need to take over 
those people are fresher beginners no eyes into the ant they must go through that now next command is ant bill sorry ant all so what it will do is it will do so ant all does the build your all extensions okay this is a fresh setup you can set your application setup so there is one command this is ant module j what it, what it does it will generate your application so whatever the required extension as per application and as per the IFS standard is gonna be created over here so how many extensions will be required by default okay so what all are things mandatory for any application it will generate so now I'm typing and module gen so you can see now what it will going to be generated okay so it is asking now choose template see hybris is pre-compiled application and ready to this uh, this is a ready to build recipe okay so it is asking you to press enter to use default value so based on that it has uh, some of the little default values configured or if you want to customize according to our requirement application then we can choose any any of the template okay so as of now we are not going to any OCC module so we will not go with the commerce web services accelerator order management we are not gonna going to create a order management application as of now accelerator I'll come back to because it is deferred I'll move to the B2B accelerator if your project is required or application required, customer requires any B2B. B2B is nothing a business to business customer accelerator. So this is kind of that. I was taking care of South China. So so much time for the Chinese. So they have a Chinese separate accelerator. So if your client is Chinese, then go with the Chinese accelerator. Because they have own protocol, they have own build design. So I am coming back to the accelerator. Accelerator is nothing that is a by default B2C customer accelerator. Means if you are choosing that your application is going to be created as a B2C business to customer. Okay. So by default we can press enter or we can better to be a right the writing tool practice. We are going to write it. Okay. Accelerator. Press enter. It is now asking about your model extension. Okay. So this is none other than things. This is our project name. Suppose current we are working the Maplin, so we are going with the Maplin now. Suppose I am creating this application for IBM for selling all IBM products on a one place. Okay, so it will be a, a B2C application of IBM. So I am creating IBM only. Okay, or IBM retail. So make sense, uh, is it clear as up to now? So this is the IBM retail application we are going to be create. So we given the project name. Now it is asking, please choose the base package name of your extension. It is nothing. We must follow that standard of Java tutorial, com dodge. Then, then company name, John, then our project name, okay? That's it, which is basic a base package for our application com.ibm.ibm retail. I'm pressing enter now, it is going to be created the all required extension in a one shot. We are not going to be create separate separate extension. So, what all are the prerequisite extensions are required for our application? It is going to be created through the module gen. Okay, so in deep diving of the theories, you need to go through the capitals. You need to go to the wiki, you need to go to the hack.hybris.com Please do register yourself over there and get your study material from there Okay, so any of your queries, any of your requirement, you can reach out to me anytime My mail id is my name, Saurabh My sec first two letter of my name is, the second name is SH No, computer science, acronym Okay so now you can see that add your extension to your C Hybris Trainings Day One Hybris Six Hybris Config Local Extensions .xml. This is a very root application configuration 
file where all extensions are gonna be configured so how many extension has been generated by this module chain so module chain is nothing because it is denoting the module means we are creating a particular module okay so this is nothing this is for our application module okay so it is the chunk of the extensions are gonna be created by one command otherwise we need to go through that one by one we couple of commands suppose uh, if I am going to the extension then I need to choose one two three four five six and seven different commands okay seven different execution time so now through the module chain we are going to be create one sorry seven required extension in one shot it is informing that add your extension means you must add these extensions in your extension info local extension info dot xml okay so in the later sessions my colleague will take you on that what all extension local extension so my colleague will take you in the deep diving for that but as of now Apple system has only single instance of local extension info which is having the information configuration of the entire extension into it okay make sense so I'm now moving to next extension there it is a prerequisite information you can remove the all default extension or whatever configured in the local extension or XML make sure application service is tough before the build extension the first time performant so it will build all extension in one shot and restart your application server makes sense we are going to be created over here now the end execution then it will give you the error message why because because it's telling you the add your extension so once your application is gonna be start you can see if you are coming to your uh, screen okay in parallel to platform there was no custom now custom has been created which has the IBM retail my application name and it has seven packages over here but these packages doesn't have any configuration information as of now in the local extension dot info okay so first of all we need to take care and configure the all extensions over there and and then you execute your and command okay so now I'm going to create now one new fresh instance of the web uh, Eclipse. I'll tell you also how would you configure project in your Eclipse also. So this is my hyper screen D1. You guys can see the hyper six. So up to this hyper folder, you need to con. Uh, uh, configure your workspace because you need to get all extensions from this app this particular location so don't come inside it just be carefully take up to the hybrids so your Eclipse is now perfect go to file and it's pretty simple to import so most of them my friends are familiar those people are no wise in friends, freshers, take care and make a note. Okay, so it will show you the entire extensions which is available out of the box or what we have created. Now finish it. So it will import the all projects. So this is the issue with the Java Luna version. Okay, so avoid it. Don't don't worry about it just cancel make sure your project should be built automatically if your machine is 16 GB otherwise it should be unchecked so now press ctrl shift plus R and find local extension info.xl so how it looks like inside it I'll take you inside it see go to the source so you can see there is no extension has been configured as of now so now if you are going to be execute the and command so it will find these many extensions but it doesn't have the definition 
declaration of these extension over here so it will give you the and uh, field address so what do you need to do just copy all these things come to your eclipse in your extension info uh -oh. it is just because of build automatically you can see that my machine is 16 GB after it's gonna hang so guys you can see now I am inside my local my extension I copied everything over here control shift F all will be set See, take care of the important thing is of now which I am telling you now so in extension you can see it is mentioning over directly over here but what we do what we what it has already it has already configured the bin directly over there till the path so there is no requirement for this only we required to declare our extensions no directory okay so it should have the name of my extension up to this guys make sense so nothing is required only our extension name is required to be configured over here ok just copies to all the copies and five is all remaining ok so my plan initial data is required for all initial data initiali initialization means whenever your application is going to be initialized the first shot your all in taxes what all other extensions required should be configured here IBM facades so it's based on the facade design pattern most of the my experienced guys are aware and those are no ice freshers please go through the java java facade design pattern okay this will boost your knowledge this is very important extension now what I am configuring now this is the maplin sorry I am retail storefront means your website is based on this only and these are the carpets means chor darwaza means businesses are going inside your application through that door only ok so now I have configured configure the all extensions over here now I am eligible to execute and connect so what it does it is building your project whatever your extension you configured you created ex custom or whatever you have out of the box extensions so in first shot it is going to be built it takes some time it takes lot of time you can see on your screen so many eco prints over there these are many other things So guys now you can see that my fibers first pair is successfully okay it took two minutes four seconds showing you it here so now if is there any changes in your configuration files item.xml okay then you need to create you need to execute and clean command otherwise and which is taking the latest packet whatever it has changed or else you can execute and all or you can execute and clean all which will clean first ok so now after 
that first written and module j okay so what it does it is generating default extensions configure or generate it Extensions uh, project uh, models. Okay, this is it. these are the steps after generating your module chart. Okay, now run yourself. Fibris server. will execute or run your habit server so what are the habit server means is it application server web server or what it is it is nothing it is a tomcat server okay simple pretty simple in three or short this tomcat server built in the hybrid and you can see started solar server as well also this is also based on jetty server which is configured inside the habers so habers 5.0 was in, came along with this solar you can solar run on a apart from jetty tomcat yep it can run it can run our article indica which we send and plug from our mapram project So that's it about the habit server. Or before that, you need to execute one command which I have missed it before execution of first attempt. This is and initialize. Okay. This command must be executed before your starting server. This should execute once in your application initialize phase not every time make a note not every time it will require if your server license is expired okay make a note this so this will uh, this will take some time so it will start up so I'll see you on this Please take a break. So, folks, now you can see that server has been started in one like thirty nine thousand nine hundred forty milliseconds. Okay, it means your server is started now. So, go to your uh, web browser. Suppose I'm taking 
Google Chrome this is which is the best one okay type here localhost 9001 is the default port okay and running so what will be your first page it will take you on your hybris administration console that is called HAZ as well so the first phase because I forgot and to mention that we need to execute ant initialize so in the first attempt you need to execute ant initialize with your close your eyes it will take time once again so if your machine is 16 GB so first initialization will will take a uh, time around 40 to 41 minutes to initialization your system configure all extensions is a storefront etc etc okay so again we'll be come back after the short break don't go away so guys now you can see that my initialization setup has been done so it is showing me that missed and initialization it took 23 minutes 58 seconds now I need to click on continue I can <coughs> log into that so HAC and all libraries uh, default passwords are admin and pa password is Minda click login now you can see the different screen it's 29 uptime from the last 29 minutes my server is up how memory it is taking on so this is basically Hybris administrative administration console. This is for the developer actually. Server administrator guys. So there are some tabs, tenants, configurations, and all. I will update you on the next session on this. Monitor maintenance console and why HAC extension. There is a new which has been introduced in Hybris 6. So I'll take you guys on your next sessions in the deep of the HAC. So till then. I have a time, take care and keep continuing and keep reading. Enjoy, enjoy the session. Bye, have a time.